What's up guys, my name is Martini Kicks here, and today, um, I'm gonna be doing a top 5 sneaker pickups of 2016. I picked up a lot of shoes in 2016. Um, I've been a sneakerhead for, like, since late 2014. Um, but in 2016 I really went crazy and I really picked up a lot of shoes. So, this, when I realized that today was the last day of 2016, um, I dropped everything and I decided to make this video. I had another video that I was gonna edit and upload today. Um, of a shoe that I mentioned that I was replacing those Ying Yang ones in my last video. So that's probably gonna be the first upload of 2017. Let's get right into it. Coming in at number five is an Air Jordan 5. This is the Fire Red Jordan 5. So this shoe, um, first of all, it's red, which is my favorite color. It's white and black, which go really well with red. And it's a Jordan 5, which is probably my second or third favorite Jordan. 5s, 1s, and 11s. But also, this shoe has sentimental value because it was the first shoe I ever bought at a sneaker convention. I've been wanting to go to sneaker conventions for the longest time. So I went to two in 2016. Uh, Soul Exchange, which is where I bought this one back in April in Sneaker Con. And I got a good price for these uh, market value-wise. I, pr I pretty much paid market value, maybe a little less. Um, but for me, it was a steal. I paid 140 for these. I haven't worn them yet. Uh, this is how I bought them. I think they were only once or twice. So that that's really, really good. The jump man is still in here fully intact and everything like that. Um, so that's number five. Number four is a shoe that a lot of people would put in their top five. Maybe not this colorway, but definitely this model. The Ultra Boost in the gradient colorway. I have a white pair, but I haven't worn that one yet, as you saw in my November pickups, and I haven't had that for as long, which is why I haven't worn it yet. These, I wouldn't call beat. These are certainly not beat, but they're definitely worn. I've worn these a good amount. As you see in my sneaker rotations, I think these have been present in every single sneaker rotation because that's how much I wear them. Um, they're not as comfortable as some people make out make them out to be, um, but they're super comfortable. They're much more comfortable than any Jordan or anything like that. Um, at least that I have, but yeah, I'm not exactly Team Adidas, I probably, I, I think Jordans are still the best shoes out there, but hey, you gotta have, you gotta buy into the hype somewhat, you know, so I bought this pair, and Uruguay too, that's the other thing, when I was visiting Uruguay over the summer, uh, the country my family's from, I picked these up there, which is awesome, I think this was one of the first 2.0 colorways, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But yeah, super nice, and it's like all black, and there's like no hype on this one, which is also, uh, nice. So, number four. Number three is getting back into the whole gist of sneaker convention pickups. You already know what this is. Sneaker con pickup of November, the Legend Blue Air Jordan 11. This is like the second grail I ever bought that I was like, wow, I never thought this nice of a shoe could be this cheap um i just remember because i was i was like yeah i was in this sneaker late 2014 when these came out i remember the craziness over them just everyone saying wow like the legend blues the legend blues legend blues you know the columbia's are back oh my god everyone was selling them four five hundred and then i just picked these up like the nds for like 200 a pair of 11s man these are super fresh Getting into my top two, two pickups of 2016, and this is number two, the Space Jam Air Jordan 11. You guys saw the Space Jam experience. I made a three-part series based on just these shoes. That icy sole is just incredible. It's, this shoe is damn near perfect except for the fact that it's almost too perfect and I don't know if I'd wear it. It's basically, I just don't have a special enough occasion to wear this shoe. Um, school people are douchebags, basically. <laughs> people will step on your shoes, scuff them, all this stuff. I don't wanna do that with these. Can't really afford to do that with these. So I think what I'm gonna do is hopefully let these marinate on the market per se and um, and see if the prices go up, which I think they will. A lot of people predict they will. And if they do go up to like, what, what are they at now? Like 350-ish on eBay? 
they go up to around 400 I think I'm gonna have to try to sell this pair because I got it for retail on Nike.com and I celebrated like crazy when I did number two and my number one sneaker pickup of 2016 the van skate high the vans skate highs these are beat these are extremely beat no just kidding just no it's not those although those would kind of be an honorable mention looky because i've worn those a lot probably expected the bread fours She's insane. I've talked about it a lot on this channel. You guys saw the unboxing. It was my second video on the channel. You could go watch it, but eh, it's not great. But you can go watch it, by all means. These are girls. There's no other way to put it. A lot of hype beasts and people would say, nah, that's that's a Jordan. They go for like two, three hundred, tops four hundred dollars. Those are not hyped. Yeah, they're not hyped. They're classics. And every time it's retro, it's sold out. Every time it's released, people went crazy over it. And it's just for good reason. And the price I got these for, it wasn't like incredible. It wasn't like a crazy steal. I basically paid market value. Uh, it, it wasn't like incredible, but it was a really good price. The price was definitely right for me. Um, yeah, go watch the unboxing. More details on it there. So that's it, guys. Tip towing in my Jordan, how to gain down. Tip towing in my Jordan, just cop the Porsche. Tip towing in my.